Hey friends, so today's story is Keep Running Gingerbread Man. So this story is another little twist on all of the other gingerbread stories we've read. This one has a different kind of ending. I think you're going to like it. Keep Running Gingerbread Man. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little old woman and a little old man. They liked watching TV, drinking tea, and eating gingerbread cookies. One day they decided to make a gingerbread man. They gave it two raisins for eyes, buttons made of candy, and sprinkles for hair. Then they popped it in the oven to bake. There they are. I think we'll know what happens when, you come, when they open the oven. But a few minutes later they heard, let me out, let me out. The old woman opened the oven and out jumped the gingerbread man. Before she knew it, he was running out the door. Stop! We want to eat you, she shouted. The little old man and the little old woman chased after the gingerbread man, but they couldn't keep up. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, sang the darling little cookie. A cow was lying in the meadow, chewing some grass, when the gingerbread man ran by. Stop! I want to eat you, shouted the cow. She chased after the gingerbread man, but she couldn't keep up. Run! Run! As fast as you can! There he is. You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man, sang the fearless little snack. A horse was resting against a fence, having a drink, when the gingerbread man ran by. Stop! I want to eat you, shouted the horse. He chased after the gingerbread man, but he couldn't keep up. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, sang the tricky little treat. A fox was doing jumping jacks in the meadow. Uh-oh, a fox. Hmm. When along came the gingerbread man. The fox chased after the gingerbread man, and in no time, he caught up with him. Yikes. What are you running away from? asked the fox. I'm running away from the little old woman, the little old man, the cow, and the horse, said the gingerbread man. They all want to eat me. No. Really? said the fox. Hmm. I don't know. We know what happens in a lot of the stories when a fox shows up. You must be very fast to keep up with me, said the gingerbread man. Well, I do try to keep fit, said the fox. I walk everywhere, I play sports, and I keep active. And I eat healthy, too. That's great, puffed the gingerbread man as they raced toward a fast-flowing river. But, um... Can you swim too? Uh-oh. We've seen this before. Let's see what happens. Of course I can swim, said the fox. Then could you carry me across the river? Asked the gingerbread man. I'll fall to pieces if I get soggy. No problem, said the fox. Climb onto my tail. Uh-oh. But as the fox swam across the river, his tail started to get closer to the water. Quick, said the fox, jump onto my back. It will be safer there. Uh -oh. But the fox's back seemed to be getting closer to the water. Quick, said the fox, jump onto my nose. It will be safer there. Uh-oh. So the gingerbread man jumped on to the fox's nose. I'm nervous. Do you think he's going to get eaten like the gingerbread man and the gingerbread cowboy? And the gingerbread man? Let's see. Let's find out. <gasps> Wait! <gasps> he bounced, then he somersaulted and soared through the air, landing on the riverbank. Then off he ran into the sunset. <gasps> so he used the fox's nose to bounce off and do a flip and land over on the land across the river. He's a smart cookie, isn't he? wheezed the old woman. <sighs> we'll never catch him now, moaned the little old man. Yes, you will, said the fox. You just need to get yourselves fit, like me. Could you help us, asked the cow and the horse. So the fox
Fox is saying we can catch up to him. We just have to get into good shape. Of course, said the fox. And he did. So look, here's the fox. He's got the old woman, the man, the cow, and the horse all exercising so that they can become faster runners and healthier people. And then they'll be able to catch up to the gingerbread man. So look, the gingerbread man sees them all exercising and he says, uh-oh, because he knows after they practice their running, they're going to be able to catch up to him. And all that exercise is going to make them fast runners. Oh my goodness. What a silly ending. The end. I hope you guys liked that gingerbread story. That one was a little different, but it was still so fun. All right, friends, I'll see you later. Bye.